Now look, Georgie, poor G pudding in pie. Come on now, brother. Come on now. When them dudes, excuse me, those gentlemen were in Philadelphia conspiring, they had 13 colonies that they wanted to bring together to form the United States. But the 13 colonies became rich from the transatlantic slave trade. Don't think that slaves were just in the South. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York, Connecticut. We had slaves up there too. So when they were arguing how to put this thing together, the argument came up about representation. And the South argued saying, look, we got to count these Negroes. And the North said, wait a minute, they don't count. Them is Negroes, they don't count. They are our chattel. Why are you going to count them? So the South said, well, hell with that then. You're not going to count them. There won't be no union. There won't be no United States. So there was the three-fifths compromise. See, it's not that you were just three-fifths of a human being, but this was a compromise between the North and the South to get the South to come on board. So you were counted as three-fifths of a human so that the South could have greater representation in the House of Representatives. And that's why most of your first uh, leaders of the United States came from the South. For the first 100 years of America's existence, 75 of those years, the president came from the South. The North was upset. Said, damn, if we don't do something about this, we're not going to have no Jews. What you think we ought to do? We ought to form an abolitionist movement to abolish slavery. It wasn't about freeing you. It was all about power. That's how they use you today. It ain't got a damn thing to do about you. It's about what white people want to get in power so they suck up to you, pat you on your fanny, pat you on your back, give you some buttered biscuits and a piece of fried chicken around the back door and say, nigga, remember when you go to the polls. Remember the party that I threw for you. And I brought Bootylicious and she shook the fanny for you to vote for me it ain't about you it ain't never been about you now, damn it and you ain't got the guts to push them to make them manifest their real character go ahead, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. you one of these damn go along to get along negroes I'll go along because I want to get along because I want tenure in some damn college. I want some position in corporate America. I want some favor. But the favor that we want is the liberation of our people. And we cannot compromise that for some jive job, some gig. That's all you got is a gig, you know. When we were in music, when you had a gig, it was a short-term job. And that's all you got is a gig. You got a short-term job. And when you cease to be of value, they'll drop you like they drop their mothers. And they put their mamas in old age homes nursing homes they don't have no feeling what advantage can we get go ahead this is a criminal enterprise 
on your back and with your blood. George Washington had many slaves. That's why everyone that you find named Washington. And you got a whole lot of blacks named Washington. I've never seen a white Washington. But every time I see Washington, I see you coming up. My name is Henry Louis Washington. Tom Jefferson. All these cats, man, they love the black woman. They know what bootylicious means. They understand that. And you know damn well that I know what I'm talking about. You don't mean a damn thing to a white man, but what's between your legs. And it's become that way with your own black brother. That's why you becoming lesbians today. Because you see through men. They so damn jive and sickening. You'd rather be lay down with a damn woman than to give yourself to a jive Negro. You know I'm saying it right. You think white people really love you. You're on their job and they smiling at you. Talking nice to you. Sweet talking you. As though they love you. How in the hell can they love you and don't love the father that produced you? They'll hang your father as another nigga. They'll beat him down in the street and then come and lie down and take pleasure from you. Why in the hell would you give them pleasure? See, we need some repair in this house. These brothers that can't stay with a black woman. You need some repair, brother. How in the hell can you lie down with the slave master's daughter after they cried rape when they know you wanted them and they wanted you, but they hung your black behind from a tree. And now you parading with her like you got something. Damn right you got something. AIDS. I'm sorry. I, I didn't bring no notes. I thought I would just talk to you from the heart. Now look, if you are white in here, don't, don't think hard of me. Don't think hard of me. I'm a black man. I love the black woman. I want to see a black woman with a black man. I don't want to see a black woman with a white man. And I don't want to see a black man with a white woman. I think that's disgusting. But it's your cup of tea. Your cup of tea if that's what you want. Uh, damn it, but when you drink from that well, See, tomorrow they'll be, they'll be, uh, they'll be hanging you. They'll be castrating you because the one thing that that white man can't stand is to see you with his woman. And she walking down the street, sashaying, and smiling. See, but this is all written in the Bible, how there was a woman sitting astride a beast. She was all dressed in purple. Scarlet. He used his woman to take you down. He'd been working on her for 4,000 years. When she came out of the cave, she didn't look like this. But today, that flat behind. She, she got curves in it now. She's been working on it. Stair step. That damn if the stair step don't work, put something in there to round it out. Put something in here to fill it out. And then she take it all off for you. Damn, you just go crazy. Damn. That's how Delilah got Samson. Tell it. 